What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Modal WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the modal boxes and the modal elements into your WordPress website. So first of all, let me show you both elements in our Teams, we have two options of modal, one more minimalist and another with more styles and custom options. And let me show you its usage and what is a model. So here we have the link WordPress team, the demonstrative website and a blog post, a sidebar. And down here we have a read more model. As soon as we click on it, it opens a pop-up box. And this is in essential, what is a model do? Down here in the cryptocurrency WordPress team present on our visual model teams portfolio, we have two buttons in the features. And if you click on it, it does open another model option. So how to create it? Let's do it. First of all, go to our WordPress dashboard pages, click on add new. Click on the Bakery Page Builder. Click on the Backend Editor, but you also can do this in the front end. I'm gonna make it simple and do it in the back end. And in the search box or search field, you can type Modal and you're gonna find two options. The Visual Elements element and the ultimate VC add-ons element. Let's start with the minimalist one, the visual elements. And here in the model settings, we're gonna need to type a title. You need to have a title and the bottom title. The first title will appear in the top of the model pop-up box and the second one will be the bottom content. You can change the test color, the background color, the bottom position, size, style, and shape. And of course, you have the design option, so you can apply padding, margin, bottom, border. But let's skip that and just align the bottom to the center, so we can start applying elements inside it. As soon as you have the modal element into your page, we're gonna notice a plus button inside it. Click on the plus button and we're gonna ask you to apply a raw. You need to apply a raw. In this raw, you can use the one column layout or the two columns like I'm doing here. And in these columns, you're gonna apply any element that you want. It can be video, image, content, icons, info boxes, graphics, products, everything that you can imagine you can apply on it. Okay, done. We have two text blocks. Let me apply another block so we can have more content into this page and let's preview it. As soon as you click on the README, it does open the pop-up. Let me just change the paddings so we can have more size between the elements. And let me change the inside model content for a single row, a single column row, and a video. Let's check. Perfect very fast and easy to use.
Now it's time to change the models. Now we're gonna be using the Ultimate VC add-ons model box. In this model box, we can display an icon and the description, the content box, it's already there. You cannot add other elements inside this box. This is a unique element, but you're gonna find a lot of other options. In this model box, you can change the content background color and the header background color. Let me pick a darker color and preview so you can see the difference. As you can see, the content and the header. Let me copy some content to apply on it. you also can edit the close button the X button that appears on the top right of our screen when you open the model element You are able to fully edit the typography and of course the design for padding and border. The display model on, we are using the bottom, but we can change to an image to open the box, test, on page load or a selector. We're gonna change it to test type something, change the size, Let me change the text color. Now, let's do like on the Visual Model WordPress Teams presentation site and add a video inside this model. You're gonna open the YouTube 
copy the video and band code. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for another video tutorial where I explain how to apply and use YouTube embed codes into your WordPress. But let's do it. The video is too big. We're gonna need to make, make it smaller. In the video, I frame code. We're gonna find the widget and the hedge. You are able to play with it. Just let me show you some examples. Now we're gonna align the video to the center by using the center code and in the end of the video iframe we're gonna close the center code. And we're gonna select all the tests back into the visual editor mode and selecting all the content to make it white. We are getting closer, but we're gonna need to move the video to the end of the model box and apply some opacity or transparency to the content background color. Let's change the video position. And here, we're gonna change the alpha color to 1% so we can have a full overlay. So while opening the model box, we're gonna keep looking at the page content. Like this. Perfect. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the Visual Moodle WordPress Teams portfolio for amazing features like this one and all the support on your site creation. I see you later. All the best!